Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be another 10 mods that you didn't know you need. There are only a couple on here today for console players, so just an FYI for that. Most of these are for PC and Mac players only. Um, as far as I know, this will probably be my last video of this specific type uh, coming out prior to FS22, but we'll see. So you guys have seemed to like these, so let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Number one for today is the Animal Screen Extended. This is by GTX. It's 15 kilobytes to download for PC and Mac players only. What this does is allows you to quickly move across animals. And what I mean by that, and you can do this with trailers or any animal screen. Anytime you have the animal screen, um, one thing it does first off is up here in the upper right hand corner, it gives you a total. You don't normally have that up here. So this says 100 out of 100 that we have. It gives you that. Now, normally you have to sit here and I would have to hit enter over and over and over and over and over again until I got these down. But now if you look, if I hold down, look down at the bottom, there it says pressing and now it's moving. It's doing them automatically. Down in the bottom right hand corner, it still says moving. It'll speed up here in a second. There you go. You see it's now speeding up and it's going much faster. I'm just holding down the enter key and boom, just like that, it's done. And I can confirm, sell off all those chickens if I wanted to do that. So uh, there you go. The animal screen extended definitely adds a just a feature that should honestly be base game to be honest with you. But there you go. The animal screen extended. For number two, we have the Animal Goods Transport. This is by Mantrid. 5.68 megabytes to download. This one is for all platforms. In the store, this is a trailer located under animals. There's three different versions. There's one that hauls wool, milk, and eggs. Now, the eggs and wool one, I think, are by far the most useful. The milk one does work really well as well. But I'm going to test out the uh, wool one to kind of show you the uh, why it's so helpful. So instead of having to load up this pallet or this stack of wool individually here, each pallet one at a time, I can pull up just near them and it will start loading them up just like that. Very useful, very handy. And then after I get all these guys loaded up, I have 14,000 liters you can see down there. This whole 28,000. What I can do is simply just drive up to a sell point and sell these guys off. It's very helpful, very useful, makes it a lot easier to transport your animal goods around. So I highly recommend this trailer right there. Hit I to unload and it starts unloading and selling it off. You can see my money going up in the upper right hand corner. But there you go, guys. That is the animal goods transport. For number three, we have the Flegel Timber Runner Wide with Auto, lo auto Load Wood. This is by Kenny456 and Marhu. This is 6.4 megabytes to download. Sadly, PC and Mac players only. Now, there is kind of a version of an Auto Load Wood trailer for uh, console players. It's the Wood Chipper trailer. Uh, make sure you go check that out. Essentially, kind of, Mr. CLP actually does a great video explaining how it works. So I'll let you guys go check that out. But anyhow, the Wood Chipper trailer does kind of work similar to this, and that one is for all platforms. Uh, but anyhow, this is found in the store under forestry equipment. There are three different versions of this trailer here. We have different lengths of them right here. So you can see, depending on how long you want your trailer. Now, if we do go into here, you can add a trailer hitch on the back so you can actually uh, chain multiple of these together or add wide tires on there, which is super helpful. What this does, if you know how to use it, open up the help menu and read through all those controls down there to help you out a ton. And you can also, if you are wondering, you can go into the controls and you can scroll down in here to find um, all of the auto load uh settings in here as well i can't find them exact yeah right here toggle auto unload marker yeah so here all the auto load s settings are in here you can change the keys you can do this with almost any mod too the key bindings will show up in there so um just something to be aware of for you guys in the future anyways but if i wanted to pull up next to this stack here hit b to turn it on so i guess it didn't think those logs were real since i had spawned those in so i'm going to turn it on now and if i pull up next to these guys it should start there you go loading up logs now it will do that if you're moving so i'd recommend stopping turning it off which is B, by the way. Turning it on, it'll load those guys up. B to turn it off again, pull up to the next one. B again to load it up, tension strap them down. I can turn B off again, back up to that one that got thrown off, get into that loading zone. B to turn it on. And you can turn that off as well if you wanna show it. You can switch sides with it. You can do all sorts of different things with it, so it's very nice. Now, if I do open up that help menu again, I can also unload these. So if I wanted to start unload, I hit Z and it will unload them into that spot right there. So there you go. And then you can see all my logs are nice and neat there. So you can take them over to a cell point, sell them, do them however you want, load them, move them around, all sorts of different things you can do with this trailer here. So very, very, very useful. So definitely recommend that. That's the Flegel Timber Runner Wide with Auto Load Wood. All right, for number four, we have the Firewood Mod. This is by Queens of Modding, 9.73 megabytes to download. This is for PC and Mac players only. Uh, what this does is adds in these guys right here, which are not reusable. So you need those. You also get um, some placeable cell points right here. Not very expensive to place. So you can put them wherever you want. Um, I have one right there now uh, where you can sell your firewood. 
Um, in addition to that, you also get added in, under miscellaneous here in the store, a hatchet and an axe. You can use either one. They both work. Um, I'm not sure if one will do bigger logs or not. I haven't tested any of that. But anyhow, if I cut down a tree like normal, bring my firewood pallet within range of this tree, and again, I can get access to this axe by simply scrolling on the mouse like you would for a chainsaw. Then if I have, you can see all these are chopped into smaller chunks here. So a little bit of smaller chunks here. I can use this to chop them and it will go into the firewood pallet just like that. And I can use that to then sell firewood if I wanted to do that. Now, if you get one that's too big, it won't let you do it. It says log is too big. Now you can cut the stumps as well if you're able to get them small enough. This one looks like, yep, there it goes. Be able to do it. I should be able to get that small piece there, theoretically. Maybe not, but anyhow. Um, you can cut them up like that. Now I'm gonna use super strength to move it. You normally wouldn't be able to move it without super strength. If I go over to, and it actually won't let you sell it off unless you have it full. So that's my bad on that. I've never tried to sell a partial one, but there you go. So yeah, once it gets full, you go ahead and sell it off. You'll make a decent chunk of change on it. Uh, you'll probably make seven to 10,000 for one full pallet. So it doesn't take a lot to do it, obviously. So definitely recommend doing that. Firewood mod is a really easy way, especially if you have gnarly weird shaped trees, it works really well. So highly recommend the firewood mod. All right, for number five, we have the Lumberjack mod. This is by Loki79. Uh, 28 kilobytes to download for PC and Mac players only. This adds a few different nifty features in. So first off, it's primarily for forestry work. So with it installed, if I hit, you can see the red hand there. If I hold down Alt, I now have super strength if I need to. If I hold down Alt and then select something. So it makes you're holding it down, select it, not clicking it, and then selecting it. So hold down, select. In addition to that, it adds some different features to the chainsaw. One of being is I can get rid of stumps like this. And I just painted dirt over this area so you guys could see a little bit better. I can get rid of that stump right there. Just like that. And in addition to that, I actually can come up to trees with that red mark there, holding down Alt and then chainsawing them. And I can just make trees disappear. So it has a few nifty features, which are definitely very useful if you need to use them. So the Lumberjack mod is very helpful. Um, especially if you're gonna do any level of forestry, even if you're just tidying up your yard or doing a little bit of forestry on the side. So there you go, that is the Lumberjack mod. For number six, we have the all-in-one silo system. This is by Chris CJ Farming, 24.03 megabytes to download for all platforms. These silos will hold anything. They are multi-fruit, multi-liquid, and I know we've had that before. It's not like these are the new exciting thing, but in addition to that, they're not very expensive. Uh, $18,000 for 100,000 liter capacity, 27 for 300,000, 42 for 500,000, 85 for 800,000. You have a 500,000 liter tank there. If you wanted to go sideways, you have this tank, 800,000. They hold everything. This one's all liquids, and these are all solids. So these are liquid ones, these are your solid ones. So they hold everything. Maze Plus, all sorts of stuff. Anything you want to put them. Then they have an extension at the end there. If you wanted to expand by 800,000 liters. So uh, very cool. They look nice. I like the way they look. Fantastic silos. Fantastic, so highly recommend these guys. They're very easy to get placed and everything like that. They don't take up a lot of space um, and they hold absolutely everything. So uh, very helpful, just a great multi-fruit silo for you. All right, for number seven, we have the Map Objects Hider. This is by Royal Modding, 78 kilobytes to download. This is for PC and Mac players only. This gives you a unique ability to hide stuff built into a map. It doesn't always work. So you have to be aware of that. Always save your game before you do this or use this mod. But let's say I don't like this graphic cone here. I can just do that and hide it. I'm hitting H when I come up to it. H, I get rid of that. Say I don't like this fire hydrant, I get rid of that. If I don't like bigger stuff, let's say I don't like this building. Didn't get rid of anything, let's try again. Windows, windows, there we go. Sometimes things are built into multiple pieces, so you may not be able to hide, and not everything will hide, so be aware of that. But as I go around here, I'm slowly getting rid of stuff. Now if I, left shift and H, I can come back in here and I can see where stuff was and I can add it back in if I'd like to. Um, so I can do that. Um, just be aware this feature is a little bit iffy and I would not save the game unless you like how what you've done looks. But yeah, it's very useful. I mean, if I don't like this gas station, boom, gone, got rid of that part. I get rid of all the different little parts like this. So there you go, go about your business, do what you feel is uh, what works for you. But then again, you somehow have stuff like this where the signs might stay floating in the air and stuff like that. So it's probably always best to edit maps inside of the editor, but you always can go through and do this. It's not very important that I'm doing this. So there you go, map object cider. For number eight, I have the Unreal Tree Devourer. This is by Raleigh Christie One, VSR Modding Sir. This is 4.04 megabytes to download for all platforms. This thing will absolutely demolish 
trees if you allow it to do so. So if I come up here to this tree here, turn it on, boom, it's gone. Tree's gone. Now, again, if you want to get rid of the stump, go slightly off to the side like that. But I have a little bit of wood chips. Now, it hasn't gone in the trailer. It will shoot in the trailer if I get it the angle correctly. Now, it's a little temperamental. There we go. Uh, but it does have a capacity of its own, I believe, of, is it 20,000 liters, something like that? But anyhow. Here are all sorts of trees. If it does that, just pull forward. You'll be good to go. Again, fantastic mod. Works out very well. So there you go. That trailer's full. But the Unreal Tree Devourer, this is found in her first equipment in here. Right here, 125,000. A little pricey to buy. You can change the colors how you wish. Oh, 50,000 liter capacity. So there you go. Uh, very, very helpful tool there. Um, yep, that is the Unreal Tree Devourer. So if you wanted to get rid of some trees and keep the wood chips and sell them, that'll work really well for you. For number nine, I have Courseplay. This is by the Courseplay.dev team. This is 0.97 megabytes to download. PC and Mac players only. Uh, what this guy does is it allows you to kind of do field work on more odd shaped fields. Now this one isn't even really that bad to be fair. Um, it just gives you a lot more ability with workers and I'm not an expert. Not an expert. I'm going to do a quick start guide for this, but if I open up the menu, I can go over here, course generation, click on the field, field 13, headland around, we'll do two passes, eight meter working width, you can select that to get it all set up for you. Um, we're going to go clockwise around, and what it'll do, it'll generate a course that it's going to drive on there for you. And I'll hit start course at first waypoint. And there we go. What is he going to do? He's going to drive around, he's just going to cultivate. Now they might miss areas here and there, they're not, it's not perfect, it's not an expert doing this but for weird shaped fields or fields that have stuff around the edges this allows you to get a lot of it done with a worker without having to have too much trouble so uh, course play is an absolutely fantastic life-saving mod in my personal opinion and i will be missing it until it comes out on fs22 but there you go number nine is course play all right and for number 10 today something that kind of goes hand in hand with course play is auto drive uh, auto drive is by balu 1.42 megabytes to download pc and mac players only but what this allows you to do is set up routes to do various things. I have a route here I can hide it or show it if I want to, but I'm going to go ahead and just have this guy drive it. They also can unload goods, they can deliver stuff, go park their vehicles, um, unload into silage bunkers, all sorts of different things. But essentially, he's going to keep driving this route for me that I've created. If I hop out, he's going to keep going, but this gives you a lot of ability to kind of deliver stuff or get people even just, I use it just very basically. I don't use all the features of it. It's really nice once you have a network recorded and set up because you do have to set up the network yourself. Um, what you'll be able to do is just, and again, if I hop out, he's going to keep driving until he gets there. Just like that. Once he gets there, he's going to stop. But what I can do is I set up areas to go and I'll send tractors and stuff to drive various places. That way they can do the driving where I don't have to. So very helpful. But anyhow, guys, that is the 10 mods you didn't know you needed uh, for this week. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel. And turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.